Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA, and you know what this means. Yep, continuing in the book of Jasher, and we are in chapter 52. And they entered their house, and every man opened his sack. And they saw, and behold, every man's bundle of money was there, at which they and their father were greatly terrified. And Jacob said unto them, What is this that you have done to me? I sent your brother Joseph to inquire after your welfare, and said unto me, A wild beast did devour him. And Simeon went with you to buy food, and you say, The king of Egypt has confined him in prison. And you wish to take Benjamin to cause his death also, and bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave on account of Benjamin and his brother Joseph. Now therefore, my son, will not go down with you, for his brother is dead and he is left alone, and mischief may befall him by the way in which you go, as it befell his brother. And Reuben said unto his father, you will slay my two sons if I, if I do not bring your son and place him before you. And Jacob said unto his sons, Abide you here and do not go down to Egypt, for my son will not go down to Egypt with you, nor die like his brother. And Judah said unto them, Refrain you from him until the corn is finished, and he will then say, Take down your brother, when he will find his own life and the life of his household in danger from the famine. And in those days the famine was sore throughout the land, and all the people of the earth went and came to Egypt to buy food, for the famine prevailed greatly among them. And the sons of Jacob remained in Canaan a year and two months, until their corn was finished. And it came to pass after their corn was finished, the whole household of Jacob was pinched with hunger, and all the infants of the sons of Jacob came together, and they approached Jacob, and they all surrounded him and said unto him, Give unto us bread, and why will we all perish through hunger in your presence? Jacob heard the words of his son's children, and he wept a great weeping. And his pity was roused for them. And Jacob called unto his sons, and they all came and sat before him. And Jacob said unto them, And have ye not seen how your children have been weeping over me this day, saying, Give unto us bread, and there is none? Now therefore return and buy for us a little food. And Judah answered and said unto his father, if you will send our brother with us, we will go down and buy corn for you. And if you will not send him, then we will not go down. For surely the king of Egypt particularly enjoined us, saying, You will not see my face unless your brother be with you. For the king of Egypt is a strong and mighty king. And behold, if he will go, if he will go to him without our brother, we will all be put to death. Do you not know and have you not heard that this king is very powerful and wise, and there is not like him unto in all the earth? Behold, we have seen all the kings of the earth, and we have not seen one king like that, the king of Egypt. Surely among all the kings of the earth there is none greater than Abimelech, king of the Philistines, Yet the king of Egypt is greater and mightier than he, and Abimelech can only be compared to one of his officers. Father, you have not seen his palace and his throne, and all his servants standing before him. You have not seen that king upon his throne in his pomp and royal appearance, dressed in his kingly robes, with a large golden crown upon his head. You have not seen the honor and glory which God has given unto him, for there is not like unto him in all the earth. Father, you have not seen the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge which God has given in his heart, nor heard his sweet voice when he spoke unto us. 
we know not, Father, who made him acquainted with our names and all that befell us. Yet he asked also after you, saying, Is your father still living, and is it well with him? You have not seen the affairs of the government of Egypt, Egypt regulated by him, without inquiring of Pharaoh his lord. You have not seen the awe and fear which he impressed upon all the Egyptians. And also, when we went from him, we threatened to do unto Egypt like unto the rest of the cities of the Amorites, and we were exceedingly angry against all his words which he spake concerning us as spies. And now, when we will come again before him, his terror will fall upon us all, and not one of us will be able to speak to him either a little or a great thing. Now, therefore, Father, send, we pray you, the lad with us, and we will go down and buy food for our support, and not die through hunger. And Jacob said, Why have you dealt so ill with me to the king you had a brother? To tell the king you had a brother. What is this thing that you have done unto me? And Judah said unto Jacob his father, Give the lad into my care, and we will rise up and go down to Egypt and buy corn, and then return. And it will be when we return, if the lad be not with us, then let me bear your blame forever. Have you seen all our infants weeping over you through hunger, and there is no power in your hand to satisfy them? Now let your pity be roused for them, and send our brother with us, and we will go. For how will the Lord's kindness to our ancestors be manifested to you, when you say that the king of Egypt will take away your son? As the Lord lives, I will not leave him until I bring him, and place him before you. But pray for us unto the Lord, that he may deal kindly with us, with us to cause us to be received favorably and kindly before the king of Egypt and his men. For had we not delayed, surely now we, would, we had returned a second time with your son. And Jacob said unto his sons, I trust in the Lord God that he may deliver you and give you favor in the sight of the king of Egypt and in the sight of all his men. Now therefore rise up and go to the man, and take for him in your hands a present from what can be obtained in the land, and bring it before him. And may the God, Almighty God give you mercy before him, that ye may send Benjamin and Simeon your brother with you. And all the men rose up, and they took their brother Benjamin, and they took in their hands a large present of the best of the land. And they also took a double portion of silver. And Jacob strictly commanded his sons concerning Benjamin, saying, Take heed of him in the way in which you are going. Do not separate yourselves from him in the road, neither in Egypt. And Jacob rose up from his sons and spread out his hands, and he prayed unto the Lord on account of his sons, saying, O Lord God of heaven and earth, Remember your covenant with our father Abraham. Remember it with my father Isaac, and deal kindly with my sons, and deliver them not into the hands of the king of Egypt. Do it, I pray you, O God, for the sake of your mercies, and redeem all my children, and rescue them from the Egyptian power, and send them their two brothers. And all the wives of the sons of Jacob and their children lifted up their eyes to heaven, and they all wept before the Lord, and cried unto him to deliver their families from the hand of the king of Egypt. And Jacob wrote a record to the king of Egypt, and gave it into the hand of Judah, and into the hands of his sons for the king of Egypt, saying, From your servant Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Abraham, the Hebrew, the prince of God, to the powerful and wise king, the revealer of secrets, king of Egypt, greeting. Be it known to my lord, the king of Egypt, the famine was sore upon us in the land of Canaan, and I sent my sons to you to buy us a little food from you for your support. For my sons surrounded me, and I, being very old, cannot see with my eyes. 
for my eyes have become very heavy through age, as well as with daily weeping for my son, for Joseph, who was lost before me. And I commanded my sons that they should not enter the gates of the city when they came in e to Egypt on account of the inhabitants of the land. And I also commanded them to go about Egypt to seek for my son Joseph. Perhaps they might find him there. And they did so. And you did consider them as spies of the land. Have we not heard concerning you that you did interpret Pharaoh's dream and did speak truly unto him? How then do you not know in your wisdom whether my sons are spies or not? Now therefore, my lord and king, behold, I have sent my son before you, as you did speak unto my sons. I implore you to put your eyes upon him until he is returned to me in peace with his brethren. For do you not know, or have you not heard, that which our God did unto Pharaoh when he took my mother Sarah, and what he did unto Abimelech king of the Philistines on account of her, and also what our father Abraham did unto the nine kings of Elam, how he smote all of them with a the few men that were with him, and also my two sons Simeon and Levi did unto the eight cities of the Amorites, how they destroyed them on account of their sister Dinah. And also on account of their brother Benjamin, they consoled themselves for the loss of his brother Joseph. What will they then do for him when they see the hand of any people prevailing over them for his sake? Do you not know, O king of Egypt, that the power of God is with us, and that also God ever hears our prayers and forsakes us not all the days. And when my sons told me of your dealings with them, I called not unto the Lord on account of you, for then you would have perished with your men before my son Benjamin came before you. But I thought as Simeon my son was in your house, perhaps you might deal kindly with him. Therefore I did not do this thing unto you. Now, therefore, behold, Benjamin, my son, comes unto you with, his, with my sons. Take heed of him, and put your eyes upon him. And then will God place in your heart over, oh, his eyes over you and throughout your kingdom. Now I have told you all that is in my heart. And behold, my sons are coming to you with their brother, Examine the face of the whole earth for their sake, and send them back in peace with their brethren. And Jacob gave the record to his sons into the care of Judah to give it unto the king of Egypt. Oh my goodness. Jacob's like, I'm going to tell you who you're dealing with here, okay? And don't forget, you know, this is what we've done. This is how God has been with us. And I didn't pray against you. <laughs> uh, it was a blessing he didn't pray against him. <laughs> oh, it's such a good story. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And I know I get tender hearted sometimes when I'm reading things or something touches me in my heart. But I'd rather be tender hearted. <laughs> so tender hearted that I weep at the drop of a leaf from a tree. And to be hard-hearted. And as always, I love you.